guys, this is Edna with Square Eye Photography and today I'm going to teach you how I retouch newborns and how I do my blanket fades. No matter how hard you try, you can never get a perfect, clean, non-wrinkled background. That's why blanket fades in this industry are so popular on YouTube. So I'm going to teach you what I do and how I do it. So here we have a baby. This is straight out of camera, hasn't been color corrected or anything. So I like to work section by section. And again, I'm using a medium Wacom tablet. And here we go. I am going to start by using the magnetic lasso. And I'm going to start right here. I'm just going to start going over this area. It doesn't have to be super perfect right now, but here we go. We can always fix it. So, And I don't like to lose a tremendous amount of detail, so I don't do a traditional blanket fade, like adding a gradient and because I just feel like it looks a little on the fake side. So I'm going to just start working on this side here. Here we go. And uh, you always want to feather your edges. That's one of the biggest issues that I see with people that are just beginning is they don't feather their edges so it doesn't look natural. Oops. So I'm pressing Alt to remove. I press Shift, but need the opposite of that. So alt removes here because this is what we're, we're going to be working on. So press shift F6 and this edge looks pretty sharp so I'm going to go at 1.5. And I always use the clone tool or almost always and about 35 percent. And here I'm going to zoom out for you and I'm just going to start cloning. You can see from this area I go straight down. So you can see that I'm going kind of by gradation, right? So I can always darken the edges or do other things as I want to. And I come in really close here so that I don't lose any of that beautiful gradation here because I think that's what looks really beautiful in baby shoots. You see here this little edge that has a little shadow. Those are the nuances that I like to keep. I think if you take those away it just doesn't look right. So be careful with holding on to those. And I'm starting here and I'm brushing this way. And eventually you just get rid of all the little wrinkles. If you make a mistake, you can always press Control Z, Control Z, Control Z all the way back. Well, not all the way back. Your history is only capable of holding on to so much on Photoshop. But here we go. All right, let's see how that looks. That, look at how much better that looks after, before. And you always want to pull back no matter what project you're doing. You always want to pull back because if you're working in really close, you can't see what's really going on all around you. So I'm going to press Control D to remove that and I'm going to do the edges. So only when you're getting in really close do you need to start getting in with that lasso tool. And here it looks pretty soft, so I'm just going to do this part. You can also, like in the areas that are already a little bit blurry, you can press I and click on a portion, like a color that you like, and brush it on. So usually I do this at like a 15%. And there you go. And this is sort of like a traditional blanket fade. And and then we go through and there we go. 
And again, as we get a little bit closer, you know, be careful. I mean, the blanket's pretty nice right next to his body. And if it wasn't, I would go through and lasso that whole section. So like here, I'm going to lasso again. And I'm going to use that magnetic lasso. And go through and just slowly go over all of that. right there and sometimes I'll just grab the baby com you know completely like that and I'll invert it so right now we're pressing shift to add to where the baby is being selected last time we were selecting the blanket this time we're selecting the baby and we're gonna just invert it so that the whole blanket is being selected okay and that's really all I need oh, I hate when it does this okay and now we're gonna press shift control I and now we have the marching ant around all of the blanket but not the baby so we're gonna again press shift F6 to feather we're going to do that 1.5. I think that's perfect. And we're going to go through and zoom in. Normally, I don't have my toolbars here on my main desktop, but I want you guys to see the tools that I'm using and how I have everything laid out. So it'll help you because I lay out my tools in a particular way for wedding and portraits. So you don't need a lot of the stuff that it originally comes with. Oops, control Z, 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 Z. And we're going to zoom out here. And we're going to see Alt here. And I'm bringing it in this way Alt here. And going this way Alt here. Alt here. Beautiful. It's looking pretty good. Good. And now we're going to go around here. So you can see that there's texture on the blanket, and I like that. I don't like to lose all the texture. But I don't want a ton of wrinkles either. And I'm at the softest brush setting. There we go. So that's the blanket section. That looks really nice. You can darken the edges by vignetting, just using the darken tool or any which way you want to go about it. Now I'm going to teach you how to, oh, what did I do here? You see, I got a little bit of the foot here, so we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to retouch a newborn baby. First of all, the hats never fit. So we're going to liquefy this hat so it looks a little bit more like it's naturally on his head and molded to his head. So we're, you can go to filter, liquefy, or you can do shift control X. I have it as a shortcut on my Wacom tablet, but we're going to bring that hat down, down, down just looks weird that it's so big and bulky on his head. And that looks a lot better. There you go. Here's a little section that's popping out too. Good. And we're going to press OK. And there you go. I'm going to show you the before and after. Much better, I think. And now we're going to retouch some of this baby skin and we're going to go into the patch tool and get rid of some of these little baby skin little sections. Control. There you go. And I just like to do that so that I don't lose too much detail. This 
little pinpricks on his feet. There we go. And if you wanted to soften the skin a little bit from all the little hairs, you could. Some mommies like it, but I hear I'm using the um, clone brush just to soften it a little bit. And I'm using the space bar to move around the image. And here we go. And we're just softening up some stuff here. And here he's got a little birthmark, so we're just going to clone that out. There we go, just like that. And again, I'm grabbing from different parts. I don't ever want to grab from the same place. And you can see the little bruise marks on his booty. There we go. love little baby butts. Okay, so here we have a bunch of redness on his feet and the rest of his body is more in the warm tone. So I'm going to grab the lasso tool and I'm just going to sort of grab anything that's in the red area. I'm going to grab it just like this. And press shift F6 and here I'm going to do about 20. And again, we can make this con Control J and add another layer that's just the toes. You see how soft it is? Or we can just work directly on the image or we can use selective color. Today I'll use selective color so you can see how that works. And it automatically comes up with red. Selective color is going to give you this mask. And here you see we can play with the image like that. and you can lighten, there you go, and then yellow, we're trying to get those feet nice and warm, there we go, press, uh, done there, and now we're going to drop into here the black mask and we're just going to paint in the toesies with white. Press X and you can see that right there is nice and warm. Much better, much better. Or again you can just lasso your little toesies and work directly on the image. Shift F6, we'll do 20, lighten those up a little bit. Whatever is easiest for your workflow, there's not one perfect way of doing anything, just so you guys know. Okay, that looks really nice. At this point, I'm just going to save a copy. This is just the way I do things. So there we go. And now I'm, from this point, we can correct the color. I think it's a little bit on the yellow side, so I'm going to add a little blue. I can add a little contrast by dragging down a bottom point. See how you add contrast there? Um, that looks beautiful and perfect, and we can just leave it there. I have a program called Rad Lab, and they're not pay me, they're not my sponsors, but I just think it's easy because you can set up all kinds of formulas. I have a formula for a baby that adds a little light, adds a little contrast with a little bit of illumination, some vibrancy, and kind of see brightens up skin tones, although it has a yellow tone to it. And I'm going to leave the edge blur and I still think it's a little bit warm, so I'm going to add cool as cucumber, which really is just cool down, but I'm going to go really low with it. I think it's too bright, too. I think that's perfect. And that's it. That one was pretty easy also. And we're going to save that. And we're 
done. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Please subscribe. Ask any questions. I'm happy to help you out.